as you were told tell me a story about you know does it happen that your legacy precedes you and does it happen that you know at times when you know people don't know you and then they, when they get to know you and then you know they change or the energies are different you know i've never been on the other side of me it's hard to answer that question really to to see if their perspective of me changes but more than often i'm aware of the fact that people perceive my the legacy that 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 is associated with me before me so very often people don't remember my name okay that used to be a thing that used to get to me you know like i went through a phase where like no my, my i am donisha and i think that's also why my, my website and all of my instagram stuff right. is i am right. donisha because i want to be clear that yes this is my family but i yes you are. i yes. i am donisha it's 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 not easy i mean i don't reject it at all i embrace everything about yeah. the legacy yeah but at the same time, I I am also inside of it. Yeah. So I have a very sensitive approach to myself within the legacy as well. Oh. I'm the eldest of my generation, okay. and I'm female, yeah. and I've been made aware in the past couple of years that that's a thing. Wow. Being a woman and being being Rasta, I thought I was just human. You know, it's okay. <laughs> All right, cool. You guys want to distinctify? No problem. Because growing up in, in, in my family, my, my grandmother is a matriarch of my family. Okay. I never knew my grandfather. Okay. And whatever my grandmother says is, is, is law, it goes. Yeah. There's nobody who is going to challenge yes. her in that way. So I never, I never knew being challenged just because I'm a woman. And stepping out into the community and doing community work, I've encountered that. Plus the fact that people think that you're Marley, so you have all of this money, and so no, my fa my family's legacy has all of this money. I am Donisha. Yeah. I don't have all of this money, son. Let's just be clear about a few things. Yeah. And we're human. Yeah. And remember that before Bob Marley was a celebrity, he was a dirty foot ghetto boy. Yeah. So. Learn your facts yeah, before you let's, say things. Yeah. yeah, man, let's just calm it down for a second. <laughs> you should check her page. You, you will exactly get to know what she does. And she does some amazing things. I've seen a couple of videos of yours where you're going in front of the police. I wouldn't dare do that here. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's it's full heart to you. Mm -hmm. The way you have done things. And for the betterment of the community as well. I, I recognize because of my family's legacy, it has protected me in a very interesting way mm -hmm. and so I, I try to use utilize my platform to advocate to say stuff that other people may not be able to say because they're yeah. afraid of you know whatever whatever I'm afraid of those things too okay but what I do know is that nobody wants to trouble about Marley <laughs> <laughs> well um, as you have come to India you've seen the the evolution of hip hop which has happened in India. Yeah. It's, it's great. I just wanted your perspective and your understanding and how has reggae connected to hip hop? Okay, well, first of all, I have, I have to big up Bass Foundation Roots. Okay. Delhi Sultanate and Bago Mix. Yes. I just traveled with them for the past two and a half weeks wow. while here in India. Wow. Linking up in Goa and driving from Goa to Bombay. Wow. That's 2,500. Yeah. Kilometers, yeah. yes, through the interior of, of the country just to show me some perspective. Yes. Because landing in the airport and going directly to the hotel and then from the hotel to the meeting or whatever, you you, know, you don't get a chance to exactly. really exactly. see the diversity and ingest all of the different conversations that are happening, you know? Be stimulated by everything. Hmm. So I really got a chance to do that and do a lot of community work by virtue of that. Okay. So, just just a quick um, FYI, what they're doing right now, Base Foundation Roots, they've fundraised, huh. as you know, to purchase this big red van, yeah. and they're moving across India with this big red sound system, wow. setting up in different communities and in different schools, and basically just taking over the space for five hours wow. of alternative curriculum wow. through music. Wow. Talk about, you know, this is what we're talking about, creating new models of existence. Right. Like taking it out of the clubs and into the spaces where they said nothing could grow. So that's the, that's the kind of work that 
is necessary to happen and that's also the kind of work that introduced me to what is happening here in in hip hop right in the community we got a chance to go to Daravi wow uh, we did a, a two day workshop huh. reggae meets hip hop wow yeah so you know showing how that connection happened and during the research i, I learned a lot too I, I learned that cool herc and bob marley yeah. they both come from trenchtown yeah and Bob Marley lived on 1st Street and Cool Herc lived on 2nd Street. Oh. So it's, you know, that... that wow, that's like the, the origin connection. The origin connection. Yes. So see Cool Herc as a youth growing up and hearing Bob Marley and, you know, his music doesn't sound anything like it. Yeah, Hip hop exactly. doesn't sound anything like reggae, yeah, but yeah. understand that that is the experience through which Hip hop found its its identity, hmm. the inner city experience, the oppressed Personal, experience. Yeah. So, what's happening in Darby right now is nothing is nothing strange to me. Yeah, and all of the kids at the Darby project and that after school hip hop program that was so fierce. The B boys, the beatboxers, the the, the, the 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 it was amazing. And we also did graffiti. I think one of the, the missions right now in in India with connecting the dots between reggae and hip-hop is to continue to inform the hip-hop artists. Yeah. Help their music to be strong, help their content and, content and their lyrics to, to, to be profound and, you know, insightful and revelatory, you know, pushing us to more empowerment and not just from an emotional space of being scarred and broken by a system. Like, you know, Damian Marley has a song, Junior Gang, him say, if the struggle continues, then when will we overcome? He said, I don't want to sing another song that says the struggle lives on. Yeah. And that's one of my favorite songs on his newest album, Stony Hill. Wow. Yeah, if the struggle continues, then when will we overcome? And it's like, you know, that's real. When when do we create our, our own ideas of who we want to be beyond who we have been broken down to be, you know? So shout out to hip hop right now in Woo! Derby. Like, come on, guys, this is this is amazing what is happening. And give thanks for sharpening us and holding us accountable to these roots as well. For real. I want to know how uh, Donisha is just chill in life. How does, what does she do? What do you do? What do I do to chill? To chill in life. I'm a domino champ. I'm a domino queen. Whoa. So, <laughs> if you want to play a domino game, yeah. I'm all about that. Yep. Um... But what, what gives me great joy when I have time to chill is to write stories. Wow. On my chill time, I, I, I like to create. Yeah. I like to, you know, beat guys at dominoes. Mm. Um, yeah, but I spend a lot of time with my family, too. My grandma, I love to spend time with my grandma, my brothers, I have nieces and nephews. Um, yeah, but I chill all day in my life, too. You know, <laughs> like, you know, th this is my work right now. This is my life's work, and I'm in the chill station. Whoa! Come on, son. Living your best life. I'm living my best life. Yeah, so give thanks for having me, man. It's the pleasure is mine. So yeah, I, this is an interesting fact which I got to know about when you just started talking about the Indian connection which we have. There is a song called I am a hunter. She wants to see my gun. When I pull it out, woman start to run. You know, so there's a song like it, which has got a reggae feel yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Even even my name, Prendergast, is a an, a European name. Yeah. But I've heard people say Pendergast, like Teddy Pendergast. He was a famous American, but our names are spelled differently. Yeah. That's also because, and this might be the reason why why your names changed to in in Jamaica. We wrote our names based on how we heard our slave masters say Ooh. the name. So when we were learning to read and write, that's that's how we documented our own. We got their names. Wow. Yeah, so maybe that's also why the names right. changed. Yeah. So how would they call me in Jamaica? Like, is it J-Man or? Yeah, J-Man. Yeah. Yeah, J-Man. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you gotta teach me some lingos. I can teach you some. All right, so. I'll teach you a few words. Yeah. In in Rastafari language, patwa, instead of saying things like understand, yeah. we say overstand. Overstand. Yeah, because it's the visual too. You don't want to stand under something to try to learn about it. Wow. You want to stand the over it, it or you want to internalize it. So we say overstand or innerstand. Right. Yeah. 
um, Irie is, is also another word that we use very, okay. very often. Mm, yeah. So usually when we greet each other, we say Wagwan. Wagwan. Right, which yes. means what's what going on. on. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, you know, you'd say yeah. Irie. Yeah, yeah. You know, like everything cool. Irie. Yeah, Irie. Wagwan, Irie. Irie, okay. everything cool. But you can't just say, oh, Irie. You know, you, it have to, you have to have a swag. Feel, you know, like, yeah. you know, <laughs> Irie. You know, yeah. it's a feeling. Yeah. 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 These, these words are feeling words. And then I and I. So, yeah, this is I and I. I and I. I and I. I. Yeah. But but I also say I and I, referring to just myself. Myself. Okay. Because it's it's similar to Namaste. Yeah. I recognize the God in you. Yes. Like so, I and I. I recognize the God in me. Inside. inside. Yeah. Right. Wow. So. It's the spiritual aspect. Yeah. So there there we go. Three terms: overstand. Overstand. I and I. I, I and I. And I. I Ray. Yeah. Wow. You want to learn, learn something in Hindi? Yeah, please, please. Yeah. What do you want to learn? What is that uh, one thing which you want to say in Hindi? Like? Um, I want to say what a beautiful experience. Bohat maza aya. Bohat maza aya. See, you, you can just pick, you just picked it up. It's perfect. Bohat maza aya. Bohat maza aya. Yeah, you just have, have to have that feel. Bohat maza aya. Bohat maza aya. Yeah, you got it now. Kya chal raha hai? Kya chal raha hai? Kya chal raha hai? क्या बोलता बच्ची क्या बोलता बच्ची क्या बोलता बच्ची वो यू गॉट इट मैड वाइब्स इन द चिल स्टेशन या या थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग हियर एंड ब्लेसिंग अस एंड दिस प्लेस विद सम ग्रेट नॉलेज इफ यू वुडंट हैव बीन देयर वी वुडंट हैव नोन दैट साइड ऑफ हिस्ट्री या यू नो इट्स ग्रेट हैविंग यू थैंक यू सो मच नो मैन थैंक यू सो मच नमस्ते यस Namaste. Yeah. And we must become something for which we have never been. Right. Overcoming petty prejudice to achieve the ultimate allegiance which is not to nations but to our fellow humans. His Imperial Majesty Emperor Haile Selassie I of Ethiopia said that. One love is action. Let's get it together. We don't need no more trouble scene. Rasta fire I live. Peace. Peace. Amen. All right, I will be back next week with some amazing personality. This is Chill Station Sessions. Thank you so much. One love. One love. Medication. <laughs>